What is up? What is up? What is up, Gorilla Gang? It's your boy Gorilla Fan here, here with a 50k XP video. I got plus 50k actually, but as you can see, I'm on level 27. The grind is real. So I'm sitting on like 400 plus Pidgey candies, and I was like, man, let's do something with this. But first, I want to show you this cool app. It's um something that uh, I don't know. It might be on everything, but I know it's on Android. But it's um. Poke, what, Poke Go Tools, I think is how it is. That might be the name of it. I don't know. Whatever. But anyway, I use this to just kind of calculate, like, with the amount of candies I have, how, how much it costs for each evolution, how many evolutions I can get. And so I came over, hey, I can do a 50K video here. Awesome. So uh, so just diving back into it. I just want to show you guys that. Download if you can. It's pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to break out the old pen and pad like old man Gorilla Fin over here. And do it. Um, so we're just scrolling through right now, letting everybody check out the goodies and then the wall. Look at the pidgeys. Look at the pidgeys. I want to say I have 40 pidgeys. It was a lot. It was a lot of pidgeys. But you know, all of you seen a pidgey evolution. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows you popped a lucky egg. Blah blah blah. Let's talk about Pokemon. I mean, there's been a new update in Pokemon now, and they uh they made Vapor Vaporeon like not godlike i mean in my opinion vaporeon still amazing all right he's still like amazing uh i uh took a gym with him yesterday like right after the update you, you know they decreased the water gun from 10 damage to six um since he is a water pokemon he still does get some potential buffs so i think it still does 10 damage base where before it was probably doing like 13 or 14 damage but I really didn't see a difference. I mean, they made Hydro Pump better and they made Aqua Tail worse. Aqua Tail went from doing 50 damage to only doing 45. And Hydro Pump went from doing, I want to say, 80 damage to 90. Um, but Vaporeon still seems good. Like, his problem isn't his necessarily attacks. It's just the attack speed. Like, he's his attack speed is ridiculous. Like, any Pokemon with Water Gun attack speed is ridiculous. It's one of the top 10 uh, speed attacks in the game. Um, so they also buffed Gyarados apparently. Um, my Gyarados is trash. So I never use them, but apparently they buffed them. That's, that's, uh, that's the word on the street. That's what uh, was on Twitter. They buffed Gyarados. I mean, it's Gyarados. He should be amazing. Um, cause my Gyarados has like bite and twister. So he's, uh, he's not really invited to the family events. Cause you know, he's, he's, he's booty meat. He is literally booty meat. He's a blue wiggly booty meat bitch. So, I don't really use them, but they also buff Snorlax, which before, um, if you keep up with Pokemon Go news, uh, the best Snorlax would, would be Zen Headbutt and uh, I think it was Earthquake. But now the consensus is the best Snorlax is now Lick because Lick is actually one of like in the top three or top five of fastest attacks in the game. So Lick is actually uh, amazing. As well as they said that Earthquake isn't as good and Body Slam is now better. So I'm thinking Body Slam must have got a buff. I mean, I have a Snorlax with Body Slam. I really didn't pay attention to the details on it. I might have to take a look at it. Um, but yeah, so I think Body Slam might have got a buff. I mean, this was kind of good because, you know, when you... Uh, <laughs> When you pretty much put the game on the basis of if you don't have Vaporeon, why are you wasting your time playing this game? That's uh, it's not really that nice. That's not really that nice to any people that like fire Pokemon whatsoever because you're pretty much telling them, hey, your fire Pokemon are worthless. So, sorry. But, I mean, Water Gun is still in the top 10 of fastest attacks. Uh, I might put a little diagram up at the end showing a picture of the top 10 fast attacks. Water Gun's still up there. So, Vaporeon's still good. I like the Snorlax buff. That's pretty good. Um, I think uh, I read something that they're kind of pushing more for the type advantage now, uh, which means like you know if you if you have a grass and I have a water, just because my water is amazing, it sh technically shouldn't be able to beat the grass due to the fact that grass has an advantage over water, uh, which makes sense because like when you have Jolteon's getting to, when you have a you know sixteen hundred Jolteon losing to a thousand Vaporeon. That's just not fair. Like, it's just like, come on. Like, come the fuck on. Like, really? Each, each attack you do is super effective and it does nothing. 
So, I mean, I kind of like that idea of doing that. Uh, I think it's good for the game. It'll keep it like fresh. And also, apparently, Ness have moved. Um, I was going uh, to Cartoon's uh, house the other day, and surprisingly enough, he had like an even nest right across the street from where he lives. Like it wasn't there before. I know. I've been to his house several times. There was no even nest. If there was, I would try to convince my wife to us move to that neighborhood, but there wasn't. Now there is. Like, so, uh, yeah, that that that's new. Um, I mean, it's kind of good, but if you already have like a a prime real estate nest set up, all right? Let's say you, you got the prime real estate Charmander nest. Since I have a Charmander nest video, and you tell me that's moving, and it's gonna become, I don't fucking know. Uh, I think what Charmander Ness became Bulbasaur Ness, but let's say it becomes something shitty like a pincer Ness. Nigga, what? Pincer? A fucking what? Who the what? Who wants a pincer Ness? I was like, that's exactly how you would feel. Exactly like that. Oh, yeah, we moved from the pigeons to the rats. Yeah, but so that's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, I like the theory because it like brings like around here. It's kind of like we don't have any grimers. We don't have any mucks. Uh, I just recently found a drowsy nest, but I don't know how that's going to hold. Uh, I think there's a Dratini nest about an hour away from where I live. Uh, I might have to investigate that. Of course, I found a Charmander nest that was like, you know, 30 minutes from where I live. I still have yet to find a squirrel nest, a Bulbasaur nest. Any of those, uh, like I said, the even nest I mentioned earlier. I found a magic carb nest, which now has moved. Um, potentially, uh, slow poke, same way. It was just, it was kind of like a slow poke magic carp nest together. Um, but if they've moved, it's kind of, you know, daddy's back to the drawing board. I guess you could call it like, cause I mean, like nests aren't easy to find. Like you know, I don't know if like they have like sn like Snorlax nests or anything, but that would be a great find. I've never found one. Um, of course, your team nest would be great. The Nidoran, Nidoran, that would be a great nest to find. Jigglypuffs uh, would actually be good. And uh, with me, the the if you watch the Charmander video, that was also a Cafable conf uh, nest as well. So that was actually like just a great nest to have. Um, so if they've moved, it kind of changes things up a little bit for me. But Enough about Pokemon news. Let's evolve some new Pokemon. I actually got three Mankeys from three eggs. Like, they're not around here. So I just keep pulling them from eggs. I mean, I don't have, like, high hopes for this primate. But he's new. We have a lucky egg on. We're trying to, you know, get through this XP needed to get to this next level. Because it's a fuck ton of XP needed. Um, and so, you know, I'll take that extra thousand. You know, I think this comes out to, like, 22 because it's a new Pokemon, uh, Evolution, all that other good jazz. So I'll take it. And it's a fighter, so technically it should be good against normal. But it's kind of weak, so I don't really know. Um, and, you know, we're just looking through now. Because, like I said, you know, got your lucky egg on. Um, you want to get as many Evolutions going while you have it on. 782 Eevee right here. This is the the second biggest Eevee I've caught. Please, God. Please, God, be Vaporeon. Please gotta be a port. Yes, you, you, you just, you just don't. You have no idea how good that is, because that would been a Jolteon. He probably would have been like fifteen or sixteen hundred. That would been a Flareon. He would have been like eighteen and nineteen. But as a Vaporeon, oh fuck, he's got trash attacks. All right, okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it, it's okay. You see, you see, we screenshot that, right? Like that's just a share, but. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. That's all I want for my EV Evolutions, Vaporeon. Even though like he's been changed and there's not other shit, Vaporeon's still amazing. Now we're just sifting through to see like do we have any evolutions left to you know, max out this, you know, XP. Cause you know, we need a lot of it. 250k is a lot. Uh and I, I'm still probably gonna have, you know, two more giant humps to get through to get there as well. We got gas evolution. I think I'm gonna sell on the gasoline and wait till I get Gengar. See my strategy. All right, my, my strategy in leveling up fast is if you want to go from 1 to 20 in like 2 or 3 days, what you do is, Krabby, no one cares, um, you catch every single Pidgey you see. 
I don't give a fuck. You catch every, you don't, look, when you're a level one, it doesn't matter about having strong Pokemon or anything. You catch every Pokemon you see with a lucky egg on for that XP, right? Then second, number two, is you catch every single Pidgey you see. Don't waste your time on fucking Weedles. Don't waste your time on Caterpies unless they're new. Don't waste, I mean, you can catch Rattas, they're pretty good too. Look at that, almost on our, on our second Gyarados. But you have to catch every single Pidgey you see because they're pretty easy. There's 12. Each 12th evolution you do is an extra evolution because you get one candy for each Pidgeotto. You never take it to a Pidgeot. Pidgeot is trash in this game. Don't waste your fucking time on a Pidgeot. Just, you should only ever make one Pidgeot, honestly. Just for the, like, you know, have your lucky egg going to get that 1,000 XP. But all you do, look at all, look at it. All you do is just catch Pidgeys. Nothing else. You catch Pidgeys from level 1 to level 40. At all times. Because I saved up, you know, 430-some Pidgey candy. I ran out of Pidgeys and I still got candy. So, but that's just my tip to level up fast. Uh, so, now we're going to see the haul, see the XP haul. 55,000 XP. You know, that's not bad. Because, you know, I've gotten to the point where I don't really catch as many Pidgeys as I used to. You know, I, I pass up on Pidgeys for Eevees. But if you're just starting to the game, you want to level up fast, I've gotten that question a thousand times, catch a bunch of Pidgeys. Like every Pidgey you see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, I left up some least, you know, the egg counter on the side. I've gotten questions about it. Uh, at the end of the video, I also have the attacks, like which ones are the fastest and so on and so forth. And I think that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of learning, you know, learning what Gorilla, I guess you could call it. And uh, just like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to bringing you guys some more Pokemon Go action. So, as always, peace to you. Love you guys.